delocalized electrons. Delocalized electrons are electrons that are not localized within a single atom or one covalent bond. They have a tendency to be shared between more than one bonding position. Therefore, they can spread out within a molecule or ion. This has the effect of stabilizing the structure of the molecule or ion. Next, we look at resonance structures. The Lewis structure for the nitrate ion, which is NO3 negative, can be drawn in three different ways with a double bond in different positions. So here we have the three different Lewis structures that could be drawn for the nitrate ion. And as you can see, the double bond is in a different position in each of the Lewis structures. The three different Lewis structures are called resonance structures. Resonance occurs when more than one Lewis structure can be drawn for a molecule. Resonance hybrids. The Lewis structures of the nitrate ion suggest that there should be one nitrogen to oxygen double bond and two nitrogen to oxygen single bonds. However, the ion contains three identical nitrogen to oxygen bonds. The bonds are intermediate in length and strength between a single and double bond. The pi electrons have delocalized and spread out between all three bonding positions. So here we have the resonance hybrid structure of the nitrate ion. And as you can see, the bonds, they are intermediate between single and double bonds, and they're drawn as a straight line with a dashed line beside it. So here are some more examples of resonance structures. We have the methanoate ion. The double bond can be up here, or it could be down here. And here's the resonance hybrid structure here. And ozone, the double bond could be this side or this side. And again, the resonance hybrid structure is over here. And the other ones that you need to be familiar with are the carbonate ion, the sulfate ion, and also the ethanoate ion. Next, we'll take a look at benzene. Benzene can be drawn as two different resonance structures. The true structure of benzene is the resonance hybrid structure. The carbon to carbon bonds are intermediate in length and strength between a single and double bond. So here are the two resonance structures of benzene. As you can see, there are alternating single and double bonds. However, the true structure can be drawn like this as the resonance hybrid structure. All the carbon to carbon bonds are of equal length and strength, intermediate between a single and a double covalent bond. And benzene is often represented as this. This ring in the middle shows that it has delocalized electrons. Next, we look at the bonding in benzene. The six carbons in benzene are sp2 hybridized. Therefore, each carbon has an unhybridized p orbital. The unhybridized p orbitals overlap all around the ring, enabling the six electrons to be delocalized. So here we have the six unhybridized p orbitals, which are perpendicular to the plane of the ring, and they overlap all around the ring enabling the six electrons to be delocalized. And this results in two clouds of electron density, one above and one below the plane of the ring. This makes the structure more stable, making it chemically unreactive and results in carbon to carbon bonds of equal length and strength, which are intermediate between a single and a double bond. And finally, we look at the properties of molecules with delocalized electrons. By spreading electrons between more than one bonding position, delocalization causes bonds to be of equal length and strength. They are intermediate between a single and a double bond. It also gives the molecule greater stability. By spreading the electrons as far apart as possible, the repulsion between electrons is minimized. And finally, the electrical conductivity in metals and graphite is due to delocalized electrons.